Hello everyone. So the time has come to reveal the two magic which we have seen in the earlier videos. So the two magic which we have seen that is first one was our magical water bottle and the second one was our piercing the balloon. So now as I ask the questions that what was the secret behind these magic. So I got a lot of replies and it is highly appreciable that two of the students who were the first to answer me correctly i would like to name the students first one was shubham de from class 10 and the second name is prerna bodra from class 8 they have given the correct answer so i would congratulate both the students that they have given their replies and this that was absolutely correct answers now i would also ask the other students to participate in this way and they will i am damn sure that they will really find interesting and their curiosity will increase and just that curiosity will make them more knowledgeable so when we do things or when we try to find out the answers we have to search here and there and on searching we also learn lot of extra things okay so i would also like the other students also to participate in the upcoming videos so without losing much time let us see what is the principle so that other students can also learn okay so the first principle on which our magical water bottle was working that was when a liquid flows from a higher level to lower level and the magic was working on this so if i take a vessel like this it is having a outer vessel it is also having a inner vessel so when i am pouring water over here okay water will accumulate over here water is coming to this vessel first now since we have a hole here when i will pour water here the water will accumulate in this portion because i have two holes here. one hole is here one hole is here so water will go inside and some of the water will accumulate in this vessel also and what is the function of this hole while operating this magic when we are doing the upside down the magician is holding this hole so that only the water which is being accumulated here in the inside vessel will come out because due to this hole the water will come from a higher to lower level also so the water will only rush out which is being accumulated in this inner vessel when the magician keep the the spot on the table again some water comes out why this water comes out because when i am leaving when I, the magician leaves his hand from this hole the air the air the atmospheric air rushes inside it which is applying pressure on this water and again it allows the water to accumulate here and again when he is upside down the water comes out from this vessel same principle i have also used in my magical water bottle where i have inserted a pvc pipe and one hole was there which was operated while i was doing the upside down now water when i am filling the water inside it the water was accumulating like this and this water was also getting rushed inside it so when i was making the water bottle upside down when i am making the water bottle upside down so water is coming out then again i am leaving it some air is getting inside the hole and it is pushing the water to come again when i am making upside down you can see the water again coming so this is the principle how it was working so some atmospheric pressure as well as the water pressure that is coming from a higher level to lower level on this principle this magical water bottle was working now coming to the 
balloon part. So if I am blowing the balloon, so if I am blowing the balloon, we can see this portion. This portion is quite tight. That means the rubber which is made up of the polymers. This balloon is basically made up of polymers. Polymers means it's a matter of macromolecules. That means it is having a huge number of molecules. That is called as polymers. So what I can say that in this portion, in this portion the macromolecules, the polymers are being stressed a lot. So when I am pricking here, when I am pricking on these portion, since they are at, at highly tensed, since they are stressed, they are in great tension. So when I am pricking over in this portion, it's the balloon is getting popped. Each time when I am pricking on these sides, the balloon gets popped. So usually the people prick on this side, they put pressure on this side, so it gets popped. But when I am talking about this portion, if I am talking about the neck region, or if I talk about this region, these are the reason having a less pressure. That means I can say if I click on these portion, these portion are less stressed. So when I am using my skewer to put on these portion, this does not get burst since it is having less stress. So it slowly goes inside and from this portion it can come. But if goes in any other reason where the tension is high, it will surely get burst. So the principle on which the piercing of balloon is working, that is it is having less pressure reason or we can say that it is having the less stressed portion where I can pierce it and after some time it will surely reduce in its size. Okay, since slowly, slowly the air will come out. So this was the answers behind the two magics. I hope you have enjoyed and you just wait for the next video which will be uploaded very soon.